Good day learners! The lessons that we will be discussing in this module will help you understand solid figures. The module is divided into three lessons and we are now in lesson 3 identifies the faces of a solid figure. After going through this module, you are expected to identify the faces, vertices, and edges of a solid figure. Illustrate the different solid figures. Draw nets of a solid figures and make a pattern to be folded into a solid figure. We are now in lesson 3, identifying the faces of a solid figure. A solid figure can be defined by the number and combination of its faces, edges, and vertices. Plane figure is a two-dimensional closed figure. It is a flat surface that has length and width. While a solid figure is a three-dimensional figure that is determined by its length, height, and width. Separate the plane figures from solid figures by writing them inside their specific boxes. Put your answers on a sheet of paper. The choices are ball, bed sheet, band paper, chocolate box, diamond ring, ice cream cone, leg block, paper bill, placemat, surface of a table. Ball, that is solid figure. Next is bed sheet. That is plain figure. Band paper is also a plain figure. Chocolate box and that is solid figure. Then, continue this activity and I'll give you time to answer this. And time starts now. What do you do for the unused art materials you have at home? After cleaning her study table, Jamil found unused art papers and stickers. She remembered her lesson about solid figures and came out with an idea. She planned of making party hats for her niece's birthday this coming weekend. How can she start working on the hats? Will she be able to finish them before the birthday? For Jamil to finish her party hats, she needs to know the different nets of solid figures. But what are nets? When a three-dimensional figure is laid out flat and the faces are all shown, we can see a pattern and that is the net of the solid figure. The net can be folded to form the solid shape. Remember that solid figures have polygons as faces and when these faces come together, they form a line segment called the edges. Then the point where the edges meet is the Vertex. Let us take a look at the nets of the different solid figures. Net of a cube. A cube has six faces. That is the net. 
there are six squares. Net of a rectangular prism. A rectangular prism has six faces. That is the net of a rectangular prism with six rectangles. Net of a triangular prism. A triangular prism has five faces. Three rectangles and two triangles. Pyramid. The number of triangular faces of a pyramid depends on the shape of the base. That is the net of rectangular pyramid. One rectangular base and four triangular faces. Another pyramid is a square pyramid. One square base and four triangular faces. Next is triangular pyramid. One triangular base and three triangular faces. Net of a cylinder. A cylinder has a curved lateral face and two circular bases that is a cylinder and a net there are two circular bases and one lateral face net of a cone a cone has a curved surface and a circular base That is the net of a cone with lateral surface and circular base. Net of a spear. A spear has a net. They are curved shapes called ellipses. Now that you also learned about the nets of a solid figures, we can help Jamil finish her party hats before the party. It will be easier for her to cut a pattern for the cone and remove the circular base so it will be open and become a party hat. Take note, a solid figure may have different nets. Identify what solid figure is formed by the following nets. Write answers on a sheet of paper. Number one, that is cylinder. Number two, a triangular pyramid. Number three, a cone. Then try to answer number four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And time starts now. Choose the polygons that are needed to form a net of the following solid figures. Specify the number needed. Write the answers on a sheet of paper. Example, cube. We need six squares for cube. Number one, triangular prism. We need two triangles and three rectangles. Number two, rectangular prism. We need six rectangles for rectangular 
prism. For pentagonal prism, we need two pentagons and five rectangles. Then try to answer number four to ten and time starts now. Match the solid figures on column A to its net on column B. Write answers on a sheet of paper. Number 1, that is cube, and the net is letter B. For number 2, that is triangular prism. And the answer is letter C. Then, continue this activity and try to answer number 3, 4, and 5. And time starts now. Put the check mark if the statement is true about nets of a solid figures and an X mark if it is false, write your answers in a sheet of paper. Number 1. A net of a solid figure is a pattern to follow in constructing three-dimensional figure. Check mark. A solid figure has different nets. Check. Plain figures are used to construct nets of a solid figures. Check. Draw the nets of the following solid figures. Put your illustrations on a sheet of paper. For number one, the net of a cylinder is like that. Then I'll give you time to answer number two. 3, 4, and 5. In this part, we will be applying all the things we learned about solid figures. We will be making a customized robot using the different solid figures. On a sheet of paper, make a drawing of how your robot would look like. You can choose the solid figures to be used. Draw the nets of the figure in a cardboard or any recycled material. Then cut the pattern and fold to come out with the desired figure. After making all the needed solid figures, assemble them to build your robot. Think of a name for your robot. You can do it. Identify what is being described by the following statements. Write answers on a sheet of paper. Number one, it refers to the side of the solid figure. Number two, it is a solid figure that has six equal faces. Number three, it is a pyramid with a rectangular base and has four triangular faces. Number four, it is a three-dimensional figure. Number five, it is a two-dimensional figure. Six, these figures are also called polyhedrons. Identify if it is described a solid or a plain figure. Write answers on a sheet of paper. Number seven, dishwashing. Number eight, tarpaulin. What solid figure will be formed by folding the pattern below? Write answers on a sheet of paper. Number 9 and number 10. Maraming salamat muli sa inyong panonood. Hanggang sa susunod nating videos, laging mag-ingat.
paalam!